Coast bringing you the Jersey Boys in our Saturday brunch live from the stage of Auckland Civic Theatre with the Jersey Boys. Only a matter of, what, a few weeks to go now and the show's all over and you pack up. I know. Can you believe it? It's gone already. Have you enjoyed the, the New Zealand experience? It's been amazing, yeah. We've done lots of, uh, you know, touristy things, which we can. We only have one day off while we're here on the Mondays, so it's... Uh, it's it's hard to uh, you know to get down to the South Island, but uh, you know we've we've been uh, doing lots of you know great day trip stuff. I, I went up to Waitomo Caves uh, just last weekend. Amazing, yeah. Fantastic. But uh, Wahiki and lots of great uh, great day trip stuff. Yeah. Glaston, you've played um, Nick Massey. Um, what is it? How many times now? How many shows have you done? Uh, I think I'm coming close to my 500,000th show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many years have you been playing this part? And, but does it feel like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, you know, not really, no. Actually, I, it's still really fresh for me. I, I'm coming close. I must be close to my 1,000th show. But, so how many um, years? Uh, I started with the show back in 2009 in, in, in July when wow. we opened in Melbourne. So I've been with the show for a while. And actually, Jersey Boys have just reached their, um, I think, about uh, 2000. 700th performance on Broadway so I mean the show is just doing success all over the world really yeah. So it, when we leave New Zealand, uh, June seventeenth, it's the final show. Are you going to continue with the Australian production? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll be up in Brisbane. Yeah, and after that we go down to Adelaide. So uh, you know, my uh, my year's full, full of Jersey Boys, which is great. So your CV says when you're a Jersey boy, you yeah, know, basically, you, you, yeah, you, you arrive, says, you arrive at an airport. CV just says one thing: occupation, yeah. Jersey boy. Yeah, occupation, <laughs> Jersey boy. That's exactly it. But I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, it's such a, it's such an honour and a privilege to be in a, such a successful show that I love. Yeah. I believe your mum's seen it a few times. She has, yeah. Um, not not quite 500,000, but uh, <laughs> she's uh, definitely seen the show maybe almost a dozen times, I think so. Does yeah. she give you any words of advice or anything like that? She's, no, you didn't quite do that right. No, you know, I think it's it's I think it's a really, um, it must be a really uh, a buzz for them to watch a show like this because I guess they kind of know the music yeah. and love the music and, and the show's so great. But to see me up there as well is kind of uh, even more reward to see, to see such a... Uh, uh, an amazing, I don't know, group of four guys in their story. Did you know the music before 09, before you actually took up the job? You know, it's hard. Th I, I, I think about that all the time, you know. How much did I know? And I definitely knew a lot of things. And um, Declan uh, says something. He said he knew um, uh, Can't Take My Eyes of You from the Deer Hunter soundtrack. And I think it's really interesting that even though I don't... I don't, I'm not too sure how much I was aware of the music. It really is kind of embedded in, in a lot of... Um, I don't know people's psyches through it, yeah. through through ads on TV and and movies and uh, yeah. I, I always um know that uh, uh, walk like a man from that um what's that film with uh, Mrs Doubtfire isn't it is, is, it, is it Mrs Mrs. Street? Street? Uh, is it Mrs Doubtfire yeah <laughs> I swear it's Mrs. would Mrs. certainly be the perfect one for it really I'm wouldn't thinking it of the Robert Robert <laughs> Downey Jr film um what's the uh, well there's probably I lots of, of it, yeah, so I mean the music you know it really is in, in, like yeah. everywhere you know. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Declan plays the part of Bob Gardio. We're going to be with Declan next on Coast.